Hello and welcome to today's video. I'm Will Gerling, I'm a sports and performance nutritionist and today I'm going to be reviewing my very own Gerling et al research that I did uh, two years ago and was published as an abstract just last year, so 2019. This research was inspired by a lot of recommendations out there talking about little and often and how we should take you know small amounts of carbohydrate every so often every 20 or 30 minutes and there's actually no evidence out there to back that up which is shocking disgraceful in fact so i decided to look into that study i was also working with a professional cycling team and i wanted to look at the effect of timing carbohydrate for specific efforts and if that made a difference over long rides and races okay so let's get into the study tell you a bit more about it so we compared 20 grams an hour three times versus 60 grams an hour once with two placebos it was a crossover study so they did both sides of the study there's only five men i know no women but surprisingly enough not many people want to ride a bike indoors for four hours so I took what I could. <laughs> I'll just bring up an infographic so you can have a look at how it's broken down. This study was four hours long. At the 50 minute mark of each hour, they did a 10 minute timed effort um, looking at the average watts performed. And at the 50 minute mark of the last hour, they did a total time to exhaustion, replicating a solo finish. This whole scenario was race day, uh, replicated so they had a carb load the day before they repeated the amount of activity they did the day uh, the in a lead up and they had pre-race nutrition in the morning so it wasn't fasted it was completely done as if they were racing and the results of this study saw a increase in what's performed in the efforts across the whole trial a decrease in rpe and a decrease in heart rate average which shows that frequency does really improve performance compared to bolus. I really think this trial highlights how important it is to regularly feed and it is the, one of the first studies out there looking at this. The first study was in 1985 by a guy called Fielding et al. There have been a few subsequent trials looking at different sports like cross country skiing mainly and so a lot in cycling but they only tend to compare front loading versus back loading so like eating loads at the beginning or eating loads at the end it doesn't look at how we divide that carbohydrate amount per hour and mine is one of the first research out there to do that and also to show that there's a performance difference i'm so proud you know one of the limitations of this study is only got five guys i'd love to do it with 20 30 people and obviously get more females if it could be half and half or something like this that would get a, get a really definitive result one of the other limitations with this trial was that it was only 60 grams an hour and the recommendation for a road race of like three hours four hours is 90 grams an hour and it's super important especially if you're a male uh, because they oxidize more carbohydrate than fat. The real problem with that is you need to train yourself to be able to deal with that level of carbohydrate per hour. We didn't have that time or ability to do that, this in the study. I think it would have messed up a lot of the results just because people wouldn't have been able to deal with that volume. Whereas 60 grams is a lot more manageable and what people tend to regularly do anyway. It would be worthwhile doing with people that are used to that amount, but I'd rather do this study with more people first. What does it mean for you? It means that to break up your bars and your gels and your food and how you're eating into more frequent feedings. Every 20 minutes is the recommendation that's kind of out there. That'll improve your performance, but also how you're feeling on the bike. I've proven it and you should do it. If you really enjoyed this video and my research, drop a comment down below and let me know what you think. Let me know what you're doing on the bike and maybe if you're struggling with like your performance or, how, or not knowing how much to eat, just let me know and I'd love to hear from you. Thanks as always and I'll speak to you soon.